Hello guys, uh, hello YouTube and hello Facebook and everybody. So uh, I'm going to share my views uh, on the basic this new this new controversy, this new controversy of uh, the coal corruption which we have here. And it's very shameful for the fact that again within one and two years, within one of these two years, we have had uh, one of the most amazing and most astonishing cor corruption scandal. That is corruption of you know you have heard about it, this coal scandal. And they say the amount is going to be huge. The amount is way huger, way huge than um, 3G or something. If that, if this is true, this is awful. This is very awful of the fact that in a country where 30% uh, of your people live in poverty and 30% of your people sleep hungry, you have such a huge, inhumane bastards, such animals doing such kind of things and I mean taking uh, money out of people's stacks and taking people's money and uh, you know having black money with them with the, within their pockets and then they are trying to say that they are representatives this is a call to every Indian to understand what is wrong with our Indian system what is the real problem with our this new system of politics why do why is it that every politician we end up electing is somehow not delivering uh, I don't know if many of us have uh, uh, every content are representatives, but I know the fact it is very difficult Now the problem here is the issue I which I'm trying to talk here is about the this new corruption scandal Now the issue which which you have to notice is two things first thing is this you have to understand how lazy and how Ill-equipped opposition is something is wrong here You had 3g you had one of the guy out of his cabinet out of our prime minister cabinet a telecom minister going into corruption scandal and now you have stayed coal ministry into all this corruption scandal and all and now it's amazing for me how why there is uh, I know they will weather this storm I understand the fact that even BJP and the allies and uh, opposition don't have credibility by themselves they are they have their own kind of corruption scandal they have their own Raja in the form of the uh, Europa YRS in uh, Karnataka and everything I understand the fact no one is clean here but still, this is democracy. I still believe that they have to be more stronger. They have to be more sensible. They have to. They do not have to. What I think is, uh, the opposition objects government in everything. In everything, they say today is day, and our opposition says no. Today is not a day. It is night. It is. It is becoming like this, which for me is crazy. Which for me does not make any sense. So, one thing is that opposition really need to establish themselves as a credible opposition they have to oppose only when they really think there's an idea for it and second thing which I think is uh, I just think it's a joke RTI uh, right to information act is a joke when you have these kind of thing blown blown up in in form of whistleblowers I think RTI is not acting as well uh, either RTI is not well equipped or we people using R RTI we actually don't understand and we don't really use RTI so I'm gonna post this video in a protest to Indian government and in a protest to Indian society to be more aware about RTI and to be more aware to hold our politicians responsible. Uh, the fact is that this Congress government, this Congress government, so-called liberal central co uh, Congress government who are, who they say is a symbol of uh, secularism in India, who are not right-wing like BJP, who are not left-wing like third front, who are in the center, who is progressive and everything. And what you have to see is, what funny things you have to see is, the supporters of Congress are very funny. The only defense they have in favor of their government is, in favor of their political party is, look at BJP, look at the right-wing party, are you crazy? Look at, uh, look at Advani, look at Gadkari, are they real leaders? No. And second thing which they have in themselves is, uh, how do they support Manmohan Singh? Oh, look, he's such an amazing man. He, he's an economist. He, he he was the one who came up with the model of, uh, you know, uh, model of 1991 globalization. Labor. Yes, but that was his job. You cannot take this fact as a bait to continue serving him as and continue having him attack as a good prime minister. I, I don't think Manmohan Singh is a good prime minister. He comes from my minority, yes. So what? So what? Can this coke be, can, does this coke have a religion? It does not. It's a coke. Do I care what coke did in, in like 20, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? No, I think what coke does now to me. So, 
same thing is with this. I mean, you have to understand the fact that these things does not matter. Sorry. Uh, so again, uh, it's hilarious. Congress supporter and UPA supporter need to really look into themselves. Oh my God! Yeah, something like that, and they have to analyze the fact that their government is not clean too. This is the government which has done the, three of the most biggest corruption scandals from Commonwealth Games selling India's, I mean, morals, moral position. We were hosting games, international game for the first time, not for the first time, but I mean after a, a long time. And there was a corruption scandal there under Congress, le under, under Congress leadership by Congress people. And yet, you know, Congress supporter, many of my friends are saying, oh, they are much better than BJP. So what? You have to start criticizing them as well. I know none of the side is clean, but I cannot really defend Congress all, always because of the fact you just think that BJP is not good or something. State elections have proven that B, that BJP and his allies have something. I don't know about BJP. I know that their allies have something. But the fact is, you have to stop really this rhetoric of Manmohan Singh is a, as a clean man. So what if he's a clean man? There was one of the guy in his in his cabinet who was who is. Uh, Target of such a big scandal. Was Manmohan Singh sleeping? Was the Congress sleeping? He need to come up and accept responsibility to it. He need to resign. That's it. I think this is the biggest thing. This is the, the smallest thing which he can ever do. He should have at least a little bit courtesy on the very fact that you have to resign. There is no shame left here. No shame left. In a country with... Don't think about Pakistan. Don't think of terrorism. There are more people dying hungry here. UPA government is not criticized at all. And I hate many media, many media channels for actually siding with UPA. I Okay, let me tell you first of all, please guys, I am not a supporter of right-wing people. I am not a supporter of BJP, no. I vote, but that, but that is between me and my conscience. At the same time, I think Congress does not deserve this time. They have done these three biggest corruption scandals, the Commonwealth Games, to even in telecom, in communications, I mean in 2G, 3G, and now in coal. What morality does they have? I guess people need to stop, people need to start thinking what they really know about, what they really think about Congress. They need to change their approach. If you love Congress, try to, try to uh, criticize it and make it better. I am with, with, with Congress if they deliver, if they are absolute good. This is the first time there has been no government with so many corruption cases. No central government with so many corruption cases. The amount is huge. Still we are saying, oh no, BJP, no, no, no. It's crazy. For four years you keep on abusing your government and for the one year, one last year when, when elections are closed, you go on with your flags. You go into the flags, oh, Congress, oh, Ave, Ave, Congress, Ave, Didesh, uh, Bachao, Iskob, Bagao, whatever, I mean, whatever rhetoric you have. So stop this rhetoric pedal. We need to really think what the Congress is all about. I'm, I am not trying to be, I'm not doing, trying to be a BJP spokesperson, but I'm trying to be an Indian nationalist. I do not care what history Congress has. I do not care that uh, Jawaharlal Nehru came from Congress or somebody Indira Gandhi came from Congress or Mahatma Gandhi was part of Congress or something. I don't care about it anymore. Can you look into the eye of a poor person, of a poor mother who cannot feed her child and you can look into her and I say, and can you say India is developing? Don't worry, this is a small corruption scandal. You cannot. So the whole political delivery system has failed and I think youth need to really think of. Stop Tying a blindfold, stop blindfolding your eyes and believe in Congress, 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 Congress. It, this is stupid. We do need to start, we do need to criticize Congress for sure. If you don't do, fine. It's your opinion, but I'm, but I'm telling you one thing. If you deny justice to yourself, you're, don't worry, you will be denied justice afterwards. For sure. What goes around comes around. Even if Congress comes and B or BJP comes, I know none of them will actually make a real difference. But the fact is, we just need to stop putting this star tag on Congress for having a better and secular outlook. They are politicians too. And our country has been let, let down by all our, all our politicians, Congress and BJP. All of them. 
I'm a firm believer of democracy, firm believer of the fact that people need to elect. But the, what I really want to understand is, I don't understand the people, this new concept of people. You abuse people for, you abuse your political le leaders, you abuse Indian political system for four years, then one year you suddenly something happens to you, you're going to vote and then you campaign for them. Next time I think uh, politi uh, the, this politician party should write in, in their manifesto, our corruption will be less. And one more thing, it's shame on you, man. Shame on you. You are a clean person, yes. But we are not looking for a... This is not a matrimonial site, right? We are not looking for a guy, we are looking for a whole structure. If you cannot be a good father of a nation, what the hell you are then? You are a good person, fine, that's good for you. But what have you done? You still have courtesy to defend your government. Be a man, go up and accept your mistakes. And I think what we individuals, we youth especially, we, we need to do is we really need to think. You cannot say this person is less evil and he's better. This person is still the evil. And I don't, I don't think it's fair to BGP. To, they are always termed as bad people. I just don't understand the concept. Of it. Yes, they are right wing. Yes, Babri Masjid. Yes, Modi. So what? So what? Both sides play it. Congress is playing Muslim voter card and BJP is playing Hindu voter card. This is politics. Once you come into power, you have you should have nothing to do in your political interest. And I'm ashamed that this government is doing everything in their political interest. To gain political mileage. I know Congress, this UPA government has done some good things, especially with the voting for sanctions against Sri Lanka on genocide. I think it's very fair, it's a very nice thing. But leave that thing, I'm just concerned about corruption. These people, Ra Rahul Gandhi, please don't come up to uh, go to Uttar Pradesh and s scream about Congress being the best or the symbol of the best, I mean the best Indian government which ever we can have. Please. You have a silver spoon in your mouth, keep it among you, okay? You come from a family and this is why you are there. This is why you have a mic in, in front of you. What equality are you talking about when you never you had yourself had to compete, you know, from the bottom? So uh, all I'm trying to say is to my friends and everybody on YouTube, every Indian there, that you should really think of on the, our approach which we have here. We, I think um, governments have are run by state person, not by politicians. And right now we have is full of we have is what we have is full of politicians. You can have a whatever your own opinion, I respect it and I really hope that this my blog is gonna be effective. I don't know if it can change mine, I don't want to change mine because I'm not a politician once again, let me tell you. But I, but I really hope this will be used as your conscious, a debate of, of your conscious. Yeah, beer. Have a nice day.